Hello there, Kavita. From what I could see, your exam is coming up, so let's get this essay to you right away so um, you can prepare for your exam. Okay, the topic is international marketing. Let's see what you did here. With the advent of modernization, there has been there has been tremendous change, not changes, there have been, have here, have been tremendous changes seen in the field of marketing. It is believed by some don't say some group of people. You could just say it is believed by some, or you could say it is believed by some people. But if you just said some, it would have been more than enough. So, it is believed by some that global marketing is sometimes a means to invade the country in question. On the contrary, others argue that it is an essential form of education along with its spread of ideas, language, and cultures. Please be careful. It's like completely taken from the prompt, so try to avoid that and use your own words as much as possible. This essay will discuss both the aspects of the argument and we'll arrive at a conclusion. Okay, yes, I'm sure you will discuss both sides and arrive at a conclusion, but I want to remind you that the task asked you to do something else. It said, discuss both views and give your opinion, but it didn't say at the end. If you look at the band descriptors for task two, it says in band seven presents a clear position throughout the response. Throughout means from the beginning to the end. So if you, arrive at your conclusion in your conclusion then your position is not clear throughout especially when you have to discuss both sides of the argument if you're discussing the negative side and you're discussing the positive side how does the reader know your view if you don't say it until the end okay so when it asks you for your opinion to what extent you agree with something so forth and so forth do write it in the introduction this way it's clear throughout the essay. Okay, so uh, let's move on. To begin with, these interna no, these intercontinental marketing campaigns are truly intruding the country, no E. That is because they are considered as a culprit for increasing sketchy knowledge of citizens about their own countries and local cultural value. This happens due to people being constantly exposed to millions of advertisements from foreign brands nowadays, one word, thereby making it questionable to forget their own local products of company of country not questionable you don't mean that and their own local products full stop would have made more sense but questionable is the wrong word for instance a study by Asian Cultural Association found that teenagers in India know more about international brands of clothes like Hollister Abercrombie and Fitch and so on compared to local brands of their country all right fair enough uh, on the contrary uh, you don't mean on the contrary. I think you mean in contrast. In, on the contrary has a different meaning, okay, that I recommend you look up. So, in contrast, these marketing strategies from distant countries prove, it's proved because it's strategies, uh, prove to be an important tool of education in, in means of economy as well as in, indis in distributing its language, thoughts, and culture too. You don't mean in means of, you mean in terms of. And I don't know why you said economy here. Just because they said it's an economical form? Mm, okay. Firstly, marketing of these foreign products can aid in enhancing financial budget of the local country, thereby creating awareness in local people by using different international items and educating them. I don't understand this. The financial budget? How? Can you explain that to me? Uh, this, this whole idea is not clear and it definitely needed some support. It definitely needed some explanation. Also, these global marketing, no, you can't say that. Just also global marketing aids in providing knowledge to the domestic country, <sighs> country people. It's not really a term we use, uh, to the local residents, maybe about their culture, about whose culture. That's confusing. Do you mean? You're going to tell somebody in China about his culture? That's strange. Unless you mean you're going to tell somebody in China about um, a foreign culture, in which case that's not what this seems to be implying. Moreover, trading... Okay, now, you can't just go from this also to this moreover. You have to, again, describe this. And as you can see, it was really confused by what you were saying. It sounds like you're giving me a list, okay? So you've got this firstly, this also, this moreover, and I just feel like you're giving me a list about the positives without really going into any detail about why they are in fact positives. Okay, so moreover, trading with distant companies can enhance learning 
different language skills apart from losing their own la using their own language. How? 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 You have to explain this. It's not enough to just tell me that it can, but you have to tell me how. As a consequence, this interaction can be beneficial in exchanging both thoughts between people of two different countries. Okay. In conclusion, it can be said that though international marketing seems as a questionable invasion to some people, however, the other thought of these, this marketing as an important tool of economic development, econom uh, educational and cultural value, interaction of thoughts, can mm, you need an and here, cannot be overlooked. Hence, in my opinion, the advantages fetched from foreign trade are of much more importance provided the attention should be taken that, ooh, can't, Difficult. I mean, just really need to simplify this a little bit. Uh, so the advantages gained from international, from foreign trade, are far more important, um, provided attention is taken to not invade the parent company, country. Sorry, and lose its. I mean, it's just too complex. Find another way to rephrase the sentence so it's just not so lengthy, not so complicated, and that's where your meaning gets lost, okay? So, um, my feedback here, more kind of holistically, it's well written, there are a lot of good elements, so um, you're doing a good job, but there are some things that I want you to be aware of, there are some things that I want you to be careful about. Um, and I would like to see more essays from you. I think you said your exam is tomorrow. Okay, so you should get this in time to at least have some really important feedback before your exam. Uh, do let us know how you do. Okay, um, I hope that you get the score you are seeking. If not, we are here to help you in any way that you need. So uh, good luck on your exam. Good luck with your writing and keep us posted on how you do.